Okay, we're back with uh, the seventh video in the Survival Analysis in R screencast. And in this section, we're going to talk about accelerated failure time models, or the AFT models. These are the other most commonly used way of generating um, predictive coefficients in um, in survival analysis modeling uh, after the Cox proportional hazards model. Now the proportional hazards model um, abstracts a little bit away from some requirements by simply assuming that the hazards are um, are proportional uh, and so when we're estimating the parameters we don't need to specify things like intercepts or um, details of the model, we just are looking for something that will fit that relative hazard rate. Uh, an accelerated failure time model is a bit more, has a, a few more requirements of how to specify the model. In particular, we must apply a, a probability distribution to the data. And so we have to figure out which of those probability distributions will work the best. Um, and so it it it, um, it it does require us to have more uh, precise specification of the model, and sometimes that is good if we can get a good fit or a good specification. We actually have more information to model with. Uh, sometimes it's bad uh, because we just don't have enough information uh, to get a good fit or the, the data does not fit a, a known probability distribution very very well. Um, so, but if we can get an, a good AFT model it's often uh, better than a Cox proportional hazards model. So it's something we want to try, uh, we, we want to look at. Uh, so we'll go and do the AFT. Now, so we've already done the work uh, back in the earlier sections uh, in section 5 of the code when we were doing all that fitting of the distributions uh, that was what was needed for AFT modeling and if you remember in that section we found that the log normal distribution was was good. It was uh, not significantly different from the very best fit uh, and so we're going to just use log normal distributions uh, because that's nice and easy to work with. So we're going to um, use the serve reg function so we, we've, we've used that before uh, and here we're just using it to, to generate the fit. Uh, we're going to fit the log logarithmic version of our response variable, the uh, recurrence of cancer, and we're going to specify the distribution is log normal, um, and we're going to model it. Uh, the, the fit of the data is, is generated if we just do a tilde 1, right? We're, we're, we're looking at the fit of the data itself to a log normal distribution, but when we run the serve reg with additional variables out on the right that's actually specifying a a model, a predictive model. So uh, we're going to use hormone, pro progesterone receptors, and estrogen receptors. And those are the variables we've already through our previous work uh, figured out are, are significant and so now we're just running the model to get the coefficients. And so these coefficients um, also uh, need to be plugged back in to a model. Remember our response variable is logarithmic and the inputs are also um, um, exponential in, in this form. Um, uh, or logarithmic in the, in the AFT model. So to, um, to, to get a realistic number of what does that coefficient mean, you do have to plug it back into the full model. And like we said before, just estimate uh, if, uh, if that variable changes by a certain amount, what will the 
survival probability likely change by. Um, and so the final uh, very last chunk of code here is uh, we use that flex serve package if you remember earlier to, to generate some nice graphs. Um, once again uh, we're going to use flex serve and so the flex serve reg function uh, instead of the regular survival function uh, which lets us just get a, a kind of a prettier display of the fit of our model. Um, so this is uh, line 523, the very end of the code. Um, flex serve reg modeling the logarithmic, uh, the log of our recurrence data uh, versus uh, horm hormones and progesterone receptors and with a log normal distribution. Notice the specification of which distribution is a little bit different because this is a different package. Um, and then we can plot it. And this is the survival curve, the Kaplan-Meier survival curve for the log of the data uh, and the fitted model. So the fitted model is in red. Uh, it's 95% confidence interval is reasonably close to the confidence interval of the actual empirical data. Um, we can plot a couple of other things there um, and see that we're uh, moderately close. The, the hazard function is not quite, uh, not so great, but um, in terms of cumulative hazard, it's it's all right. Um, and this is basically it. Uh, in fact, the uh, just to review for just a bit, the the main things that are different are one setting up the survival object uh, with the serve function um, and then plotting the fit with serve fit um, we can do all kinds of analysis uh, looking at differentials between those curves looking at residuals once we fit a regression but as long as we have uh, created the survival object and applied uh, the serve fit function uh, those uh, those are the, f the main first steps and then if we want to do um, AFT modeling, AFT accelerated failure time modeling uh, which is regression for survival analysis we use serve reg um, and we can test various distributions and try to fit them uh, and test them with various uh, various variables so we use serve reg or flex serve reg which gives us a bit of extra display power and extra distributions to work with um, or we can do the Cox proportional hazards model with Cox pH and Cox pH comes along with its own sort of testing residual environment cox.zph test and all the other sort of residual tests that are illustrated in the code. Um, but fundamentally uh, once again create your survival object take a look at the survival curves uh, run either serve reg or cox ph uh, to do modeling and um, that's that will get you most of the way there. Um, Hopefully this review of the, the code, the implementation in R, uh, has been useful for you and I uh, hope you enjoy learning and experimenting in R and we'll see you with the next round of, of videos. Thank you for listening.